Even before Galileo pointed his telescope at the sky, people already knew that the moon was a sphere. It was a ball. Because of its phases. If you don't understand what I mean, I could show you a very clear example using lights and balls and all sorts of contraptions. Or I could make it a lot simpler and just use a tiny little styrofoam ball which is painted black and white. It will illustrate exactly the same thing. Let's have a look at this closely. As you can see, as we are looking at this ball from different angles, which I'm going to represent by just spinning the ball around, as the sunlight, as we see more of the illuminated side of the ball, we're going to see a crescent shape appearing, turning into what we know as the full moon, another crescent shape as it disappears and then we get the new moon. And just in case that isn't clear enough from these images, I'm going to turn down the lights and crank up the contrast and then it will look lo a lot more like the moon at night, like this. So people knew that the moon was a ball and they had their suspicions about the planets, no doubt. But Galileo became sure when he pointed his telescope at Venus and observed that Venus was showing the exact same types of phases as the moon was showing. He would see Venus in crescent shape, he would see Venus like a new Venus, new moon, and he would see Venus as a full moon. And as he was observing this, and as he was thinking about his uh, observations, he realized suddenly that there was a huge huge problem here. You see, up until then, people had adopted a geocentric model of the universe, which meant that the, the Earth was in the center of the universe and everything else was revolving around it. And what Galileo realized was that his observations couldn't possibly fit that model. Let me explain why. According to the geocentric model, the Sun is revolving around the Earth. But crucially, in order to make what they had already observed make, make fit the model, they produced a model at which the planets Venus and Mercury, as well as the Moon, were closer to the Earth than the Sun. But they couldn't be revolving around the Earth because that didn't fit the models. So what they did was very ingenious at first. They had the Sun revolve around the Earth and then Venus and Mercury revolve in little circles within the orbit of the Sun. And they could sort of make that fit observations. Now, their model of the universe was truly insane because at first they thought it was very straightforward. They just had planets revolving around the Sun, ar around the Earth. But as they were observing planets more closely, they started seeing weird things happening, like retrograde motion. A planet would be apparently be moving quite happily along its orbit, and then suddenly it would sort of stop and kind of start going back on itself and then carry on again. In order to accommodate this bizarre behavior, as it seemed for, for them, they introduced on the orbits of the planets, they introduced circular orbits that would then account for the retrograde motion that they would observe. So far, so good. But Galileo blew it out of the water when he observed the phases of Venus. And he realized that he could see the same phases that he could see of the Moon in Venus as well. And he realized that that could not possibly fit the model. Let me show you why. Now if we look at a normal model, the, the current model of Venus revolving around the Sun, then you can see that as Venus revolves around the Sun, if you're outside that system looking in, you will always be able to see all the phases of Venus. On some occasions Venus will be facing away from you, 
towards the Sun. Uh, on other occasions Venus will be on the other side of the Sun and its illuminated face will be pointing towards you. So you will be able to see Venus as a full Venus as well as a new Venus and as crescents. No problem whatsoever. But if we look at the heliocentric model it would look a bit like this. The Sun would be on one side and Venus would make its little orbits within the orbit of the Sun but between the Sun and the Earth and no matter how you were looking at Venus, no matter what the configuration was, Venus would always be pointing away, the illuminated face of Venus would always be pointing away from the Earth. So Galileo realized that if that were true, then we would only ever be able to see crescent phases of Venus. And his observations belied the fact. They showed clearly that Venus could also be observed in full phases. As a result, he realized that the geocentric model of the universe had to be wrong. And the rest is history.